So now I can start giving you tests that are a little more game programming oriented, albeit ASCII based. Arrays are important. You don't want to store new variables for each NPC you have, generally you want to put them in an array and iterate through each of them as you update or draw each one. And the same for map tiles and many other things. For these prerequisite tests, I'm only expecting static arrays rather than dynamically sized ones. If you know how to use vectors in the standard library, that's good too, but you should know how to use normal arrays. For test 1, Write a program where it tells you that you get a party of four RPG characters. Characters will have a name, entered by the user, a class, chosen by the user, and a strength rating calculated from what their class is. For all four characters, get the character's name from the user, display a list of classes and have the user select a class, and based on the class chosen, give this user an arbitrary strength amount. After the user is done setting up the party, output every member's name, class, and strength in a nice list. For test 2, create two arrays of strings, map name and map description. Display a numbered list of each map index and the corresponding name. Have the user select the index of the map they want to see. After the index is entered, output the description of the corresponding map. Now of course you should use classes for this sort of thing, but since we're not on that category yet, we're just using two arrays. For test 3, we're extending the previous test, but instead of having the user input the index, let them enter north, south, east, or west. These will move the user to an adjacent map, if one exists. Since you will have a fixed map width and height, you can navigate through the map by using basic math to figure out a neighbor index. There's more to arrays that you need to understand before you get into game programming. Once you're familiar with pointers, you can create dynamic arrays. You can also build data structures like structs and queues, linked lists, and dictionary lookups. Make sure you have a good foundation in C++ before jumping into game programming. You can find some resources here.